Alright, so today is late day. It is my favorite day of the week. I'm going to have Chance help film me. He hasn't been able to help film all week, so I kind of rearranged things so that I could get like content out to you. Um, I just came up the stairs, so I'm good on a warm up. There are so many stairs getting up to our gym, but I'm going to do glute activation off camera. If you want me to do a video on that, I can, but it's really not, it's not anything super hard. I just don't want to take away from time that I can get good like footage in. So I'm going to go ahead, do that, and come back with the first exercise. See you in just a minute. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do are standard deadlifts. They're not anything funky. We're gonna put our feet shorter width apart, put our arms on the bar. I prefer to go over under with my hands. If you wanna go over over, that's fine. Whatever you feel comfortable with. We're going to use our hamstrings and glutes to kind of pull that weight off the floor. We're keeping our back straight. The way that I do this is to look at the floor in front of me and then also focus on squeezing my shoulder blades as I lift my weight off of the floor. I did 12 reps for four sets on this one. Next we're going to move right over on into the cables for the first superset. We're going to do cable squats but every five reps we're going to drop down and do five pulses what's it what we're going to do with these is with the pulses we're going to stay below parallel so we're going to keep a lot of tension on that hamstring and glute region that whole posterior chain what i did for this was 15 reps total so i did five reps five pulses five reps five pulses five reps five pulses Again, you want to keep your back straight on this. We don't want any back injuries. They're super annoying. Then we're going to bring the cable in and we're going to do body weight single side calf raises. You can call these single side, single leg, whatever you want. The main point is that your one leg is going to be isolated. We're making sure that we're not working too hard on, the, on one leg over the other. We're not favoring any legs. I did 15 reps on each leg, and then I did a total of four sets with 45 second to a minute. Next, we're going to stay on the cables for the second superset. We're going to put on some cable ankle straps. I will go ahead and link these in the description box below. They're just off of Amazon. They're nothing special. What we want to do with these is I'm actually going to show you the setup. We're going to strap with the cable kind of in the middle of the side of our ankle. Step over the cable so that it's behind us and then pull our legs apart. You don't have to go heavy weight. The muscle that you want to focus on, my hands on it right now, is that side glute, side thigh area. Next, we're going to unattach from the cables and go right into kettlebell swings. What you want to focus on on these is using your hamstring and glute. Really focus on that hip firing from the hip joints. Um, you don't need to swing it very high. Shorter width is fine. It's not shorter day. What I did for these was um, 15 reps and then I did 10 reps on each side of the abductor. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and move over to the Smith Machine for the third super set. These are Smith Machine half squats. First of all, you want to get something soft underneath your knees. It's not good for your knees to be doing this kind of exercise on a hard surface. Um, what's important with these is to make sure that you're getting good glute contact. It's really easy to make your lower back work in this, and the easiest way to keep that from happening would be to kind of make sure that your glutes are centered underneath of that bar. After that, we're going to move into Romanian deadlifts. 
The difference between these and the standard deadlifts are instead of starting from the ground, you start from about the thigh region and you, instead of lifting off from the ground, you kind of fight gravity and pull back up. You definitely want to make sure that you're keeping your back straight. I'm going to repeat that five million times, but it is super, super important. Okay, the last thing that we're going to do is this glute burnout, abductor burnout. I don't know why I thought this would be a great idea to put it after possibly the hardest superset of my life for leg day, but it made me really sore, so it's fine. So I did 15 reps leaning forward, and then you're going to watch me drop the weight. I only dropped about 20 pounds. Now I'm sitting straight up. And then I'm going to lean backwards and tuck my spine under, kind of sit the way that the machine was intended to, drop the weight again. I dropped it 30 pounds that time. And for each kind of position that I was sitting in, I did 15 reps. You can see my face towards the end. It is not enjoying this. I only did two sets at the end of it because I was done. I could barely walk afterwards. Um, I was sore the next day. So it's a good workout. It's a good burnout. Burnouts are important for your glutes. And that's it. That's the whole leg day. The workout will be in the description box below. I also want to throw out some ideas for what I would like to do in videos to see if that's maybe something that you guys would like to see. Obviously, I want to do a video for each muscle group that I'm working. I also am thinking about doing a what's in my bag video, as well as supplements that I use and what I do to stay motivated slash tips for in the gym. If those are things that you are interested in seeing, please put it in the comments below as well as anything else that you guys would want to see me do videos on. Thank you for your support. If you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.